Gloucestershire took a thrilling Vitality Blast match against Middlesex by two wickets with four balls to spare in Cheltenham. On a glorious day in the Cotswolds, Middlesex batted after winning the toss and Stevie Eskenazi looked to make the most of that decision by plundering three boundaries off David Payne's opening over. In form, Dabby Milan struck the second ball he faced over the ropes but fell to his next ball, skying back to the bowler, Graham Van Buren. In place of the missing A.B. de Villiers, Middlesex gave a debut to 24-year-old Dan Lincoln, who showed no nerves whatsoever as he went about his business in a very crisp fashion. And with Eskenazi also looking very good, he taking successive fours off Benny Howell, the visitors had made 72 for one midway through the ninth over, when seemingly from nowhere they hit the buffers. On 40 from 26 balls, Eskenazi was stumped off Howell. Lincoln hold out to Howell off Ryan Higgins after making 30 from 24. Nick Gubbins followed two balls later. Ian Cobain with the catch this time, leaving it to John Simpson to clear the boundary to see his side through to a score of 91 for four at the halfway stage. George Scott then nicked off to Andrew Ty to go for a couple as Gloucestershire took firm control. Simpson and Toby Roland Jones now had a rebuilding job to do. They added 34 together, Simpson with his second maximum. But the home side then finished off the innings very well. On 14, Roland Jones chipped Payne to Michael Klinger. The two then combining again in the bowlers next over to remove Tom Helm for a couple. Even after conceding 13 off his first over, Payne ended with figures of three for 32. His final delivery seeing the back of Nathan Souter, who was held by Miles Hammond for four. Majib Ur-Rahman was bowled by Ty for a golden duck. Leaving it to Simpson to finish off the innings, he making 42, his side ending on what appeared to be a below par 148 for 9. Yet more so as Hammond then went after Roman, 21 runs knocked off in the opening couple of overs. But Helm then dismissed Klinger for 10, and Cobain for a duck held by Scott in the same over to leave the hosts on 25 for 2 after 3. Hammond dominated the scoring in the power play overs, he making 44 of the 59 runs on the board and looking in excellent touch. Stephen Finn's opening over went for 15. With the power play over, Roman returned and immediately removed Bracey for three, Gubbins with the catch. But the Gloucesters still seem to be heading towards a comfortable win as Hammond reached a 50 off 26 balls and celebrated with his third maximum. Halfway through their chase, the home team had made 84 for four, the fourth man out being Higgins, who was trapped in front by Souter for six. Then came the big wicket of Hammond, who was taken behind off Roland Jones for a fine 63, his side left needing 65 to win from 58 balls. Howell and Jack Taylor were left to try to steady the ship, the former striking Souter for successive fours to bring the target down to 37 from five overs. That became 19 off three, but Howell was gone for 33, he picking out Scott off Finn. Taylor then took two fours off Helm, the 18th over easing the tension for the home support. Taylor tried to finish the game off in the penultimate over, but found Roland Jones instead of the boundary off Finn, who then removed Van Buren next ball, meaning that Gloucestershire were left on 145 for eight, going into the last over, just four more runs required. Tom Smith flicked the first ball off Roland Jones for a couple and then found the gap through mid-wicket to take his side over the line with two wickets and four balls remaining, sending Middlesex to their first defeat of this season's campaign. It was an entertaining spectacle in front of a very good festival crowd. Middlesex now head to Cardiff to meet Glamorgan on Friday, while Gloucestershire go to Essex on Saturday.